cameras posing for our cameras as well as the Bucknell Bison add their names to the list. And we are halfway through the second row now. The Bison on their way. You see the other teams who have clinched their spots. In fact, Derek Kellogg from LIU Brooklyn is going to be here uh, a little bit later in the show. Uh, but a tremendous feeling. Wally, come on. Miami, Ohio, bring you back flashbacks. It the does. way Bucknell did this. And you got to remember, they played West Virginia very tight mm -hmm. in the first round last year. So all these seniors now have had experience in the NCAA tournament. That goes a long way when you've been when you can kind of go on the experience that you've had, they can shoot the basketball. I mean, they made 13 threes today. This is a team, if they get hot, they have the ability because, like you yeah. said, Brendan, they have two guys inside that can match up with other bigs around the country. If they get hot, they could win a game or two in the tournament. To piggyback off of Wally's points, the team has been there before. They have guys that have the experience. Some of these teams, you see them get into the tournament, they walk in the gyms and they're looking around at everybody. They're looking around just enjoying the experience. A team, I mean, just enjoying being out there. A team that has experience actually believes they can win games and they can go out there and fight and compete. That's a scary team to play. These guys know um, having been there before makes it easier the second time and again Jerry's bracket is just a projected bracket but for the sake of the conversation he's got him playing Auburn nobody on Auburn's team ever been to the NCAA tournament tournament other than Bruce Pearl you get these guys remember it's not a seven game series it's one 40 minute basketball game oh, yeah. and in a 40 minute basketball game that bug down team if they're seated 14th in that area they can play with whoever's opposite them and they like you said they've got some size even the fact that Nate Sestina is coming off the bench yeah. With that girth. Hey, Sestina yeah. was a beast, man. He was. <laughs> Fallon got in foul trouble, and he stepped in. Yeah, he turned that game around the first half. His energy. Bucknell's going to be cutting down their own nets for the second straight season.